Kumail almost reminds me of like peak Wolverine, to be honest. And I think that's kind of, uh, he maintains like striking distance, Hugh Jackman, Trendoloni sandwich look year around it seems. What's up guys, Derek from ourplacemore8.com. Today we are going to be revisiting the Pakistani sauce fiend himself, Kumail Nanjiani. He is um, back in the news again for his absolutely insane physique. And, you know, expectedly the comment section is pretty inundated with, uh, you know, comments about the transformation. He's probably never going to hear the end of it, to be honest, given how drastic of a before and after it was. If you recall, I did, uh, holy shit, it's already been over almost a year and a half at this point where I talked about his uh, physique transformation for Eternals where he got absolutely peeled as fuck for the first time and kind of revealed his uh, changes to the world and, you know, went super viral for the first time, was like trending on Pornhub or whatever the fuck <laughs> happened with that and, um, you know, blatantly looked unexplainably better than what his genetics otherwise allow him to do in his 40s. So anyways, obviously everyone kind of knows what's going on. He was actually in an interview with Rob McElhenney too, and at least Rob went out and basically subtly implied that he's using testosterone replacement therapy, and then Kumail kind of just like uh, tagged along, and I, you know, presumably, you know, they're kind of on the same page with what's going on, and it's kind of dumb how they don't just flat out fucking say it, and they skirt around it like... <laughs> like fucking celebrities do like i guess the fact that they even address it whatsoever is above and beyond what other celebrities are doing so good on you but i mean they're still being deceiving as fuck and uh, avoiding the goddamn question um but whatever anyways and moving forward he ended up getting a there was like outrage relatively recently about his physique because people were tweeting on twitter of course where else would you fucking tweet um about how it's racist that people are calling him out for using gear and it's like <laughs> And by the way, if you're not following me on Twitter, I'm on it. So fucking check me out there. Follow me there if you are, if you indeed have a Twitter account as well. Um, so like one of the tweets, Kumail Nanjiani looks awesome AF and I wish I looked as half as good as him. Y'all clearly didn't learn your lessons when making fun of Chadwick Boseman's physical appearance. Notice how y'all only make fun of men of, of the men of color, but not your white faves. And it's like, uh, like I dismantled the fuck out of this in this video. So if you want to check it out, you can watch it. Chris Evans gets Jack for Captain America. Hard Eyes, Chris Hemsworth gets jacked for Thor, Hard Eyes, Chris Pratt gets jacked for Star Lords, Hard Eyes, Camille Nanjiani gets jacked for Eternals, he's clearly using steroids, I can't quite see what's the difference, it's like, fuck off dude, like they, they all get their share of accusations, trust me, so anyways, this is the physique in question as of recent, and he is uh, on Boss Logic's Instagram, um, with a little paparazzi shot coming fresh out of a workout, looking absolutely nutty, the caption, my boy, Kumail Nanjiani is also the Hulk stunt double in the MCU. Um, and obviously a lot of comments about like, holy shit, bro, this dude, all kinds of, Me <laughs> all kinds of Mexican subs. PEDs, Hollywood's way, way, what the fuck? Hollywood's waste kept secret. All right. Thought it was Henry Cavill at first. No, his physique's fucking better than Henry Cavill. But I don't think Henry Cavill has ever, actually, that's not true. When he was in, uh, when he peaked for, Superman the one time and he's in the scene with the fucking uh the clothes hanging up in the backyard you could argue he had a better body than Kumail not by leanness standards but just overall body composition and size and still having visible abs and whatnot but Kumail is like clearly superior to Cavill in pretty much all instances and he's maintaining it perpetually year-round it seems so this is very impressive this is not to take anything away from Kumail's hard work like you can't just take fucking gear and just walk around like this without effort like the guy's obviously dieting hard and he's adhering to the lifestyle which is good but again obviously not uh too transparent about what he uses um totally natty steroid game too strong remember when he made jokes about buff dudes and how douchey they are oh how the tables have turned um this man is not messing around damn he's on that mr olympia supplement routine he trends really hard <laughs> good pun so Anyways, this uh, like this is not a pose shot. This is not in a photo shoot peaked or anything. Like, granted, he did just finish a workout, from what I understand. So he's gonna be, you know, in pretty optimal circumstances, pumping vascularity wise. But like, fuck, dude, this is like he's improving even since. You know, he's obviously not uh, slowing down whatsoever. The Daily Mail picked up the uh, p 
picked up the headline and kind of ran with it. Kumail Nanjiani shows off his bulging biceps and ripped physique after a workout session at the gym. He transformed himself into a muscled Hollywood hunk for his role in the upcoming Marvel film Eternals. And Kumail showed he's keeping up with his extreme fitness on Friday when he was spotted leaving his regular gym in LA while revealing his well-muscled arms. <laughs> Not, I don't know why, it just sounds like weird somebody writing it like this. The 43-year-old comedian and actor is likely trying to keep up his workout current workout routines following the announcement late last month that he had, had been cast in an upcoming Star Wars miniseries focus, focused on, uh, I can't fucking talk today, Obi-Wan Kenobi. So here he is, looking absolutely absurd, dude. This is another angle of the same shot. Don't mind me while I get fucking assaulted by Daily Mail ads, you goddamn horrendous piece of shit website. Tickets to the gun show. Kumail Nanjiani 43 showed off his astounding biceps in a blue tank. All right, let's see some of the, uh, the shots here. So uh, this is uh, the first shot. Se second shot. This is, the, this is the fucking shot, dude. This is where you look. Look at that fucking vascularity climbing, fucking traversing up this goddamn forearm. So keep in mind, this is what he looked like before. This is the genetics he had, and he's in his 40s, guys. So, like, obviously, I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to figure out what's going on. The guy was literally known for his not endearing, like, it's not like he played, like, hunk stars in the past. He always played, like, a, you know, well, I guess he was a skinny, fat guy, so he's not, like, playing one, but he was just, you know, an out-of-shape, like, regular-ass fucking dude with not good genetics in his goddamn 40s, and now his guy... <laughs> What was the name of the fucking blockhead from Super Mario? That's what he looks like now from Mario 64. So anyways, moving forward, there is, uh, you know, more articles being published about him. The guy put, puts out one paparazzi image coming out of the gym and everyone fucking picks it up, including me, because it is, uh, it's like the pinnacle of natty or not before and after transformations at their finest. Kumail Nanjiani has achieved a truly flabbergasting level of swollness. Um, is this an old article? Oh, this is talking about the same pictures again. Can't wait to see him in Eternals. He was spotted coming out of a recent workout session. Um, Nanjiani wasn't content to rest on his shredded laurels. As it appears, he spent the entirety of quarantine living <laughs> in the gym with newly released paparazzi photos revealing that he's arguably twice as big as he was last year. I don't know, but twice as big, but he's definitely made progress. He looks fucking good, dude. Very fucking good. Like, li literally like a top top five potentially um body composition in like superhero films right now like who's better than him realistically we've got hemsworth um evans is probably not even a better physique like he's maybe bigger but it's probably not a better physique and they sure as fuck aren't maintaining it year round um who else you know cavill isn't hanging you know back in the day he had a pretty decent physique in the one film but you know lately and some of his recent superman roles like not that fucking impressive to be honest um i don't know who else is there well i guess you know there's a Kumail almost reminds me of, like, peak Wolverine, to be honest. And I think that's kind of, uh, he maintains, like, striking distance, Hugh Jackman, Trendoloni sandwich look, year fucking round, it seems. So the guy is clearly trying to make progress right now, because he is indeed packing on pure fucking contractile tissue at this point. The final article, looking at him in the gray fucking tank, getting in the whip. He has just slightly tousled hair with the goddamn tank of an arm his forearms look fucking good dude like how much this is like some frank mcgrath proportions dude with this forearm relative to bicep size god damn so here he is getting in the car vascularity climbing up even like the sides of the arm dude like the the veins don't stop at the at the peak they literally climb like up the fucking side into his delts here he is just you know chilling minding his own goddamn beeswax not trying to look too saucy you know just I'm just fucking standing here, dude. I'm just trying to get in my car. You know, I'm just a big fucking saucy dude. It's not my fault that everyone wants to take pictures of me. And um, looking absolutely absurd. So anyways, um, I can't seem to load the rest of the pictures right now, which is unfortunate because these are uh, some impressive shots to kind of behold. But I mean, good for Kumail, dude. Like the guy is saucing hard, but I mean, he looks fucking amazing, you know? And it's no different than any other actor doing the same goddamn shit for their roles. He is doing the same thing, but arguably adhering to it far more strictly than the rest. This guy is like becoming a, I don't know, is this like a method actor thing to do? You literally just stay, stay on the fucking gear year round in order to like, you know, jump right into fucking roles and shit. Like this is next level. Not even Hemsworth does this shit. Hemsworth has to pack on, you know, 20 pounds in a few months, whereas Kumail's like progressively just getting more and more saucy as the years progress. So should be interesting to see where he goes with this because he actually has potential to overtake some like the top stars as far as like best body in the fucking industry, to be honest. Like 
how many guys, like, again, I can't think off the top of my head. I'm sure there are several who have, there are definitely a lot who've had better physiques than him, but there are not a lot who are maintaining them year round, let alone improving upon them. Everyone else is, you know, doing absurd, like, giant pushes for a giant gain in muscle mass in a short duration of time and then letting themselves go entirely like you know fucking gerard butler or whatever in 300 like how how night and day was it when he did the role and just like fell apart after this is like the case with so many of these actors they just abuse the fuck out of their bodies for a short span of time get cranked as hell and then like let themselves go entirely and look like goddamn trash after you know um i forget who it was like alexander skarsgård like crash dieted himself into the goddamn abyss and ended up rebounding crazy hard he looked absolutely amazing in the movie but clearly was not a sustainable regimen whatever he was doing if i recall correctly very shortly thereafter he's pictured on vacation with a gut whereas kumail sustainable as fuck whatever this guy is doing diet diet model wise um workout routine wise is clearly working for him and it's not just the gear because there are a lot of guys in hollywood who are on gear all the fucking time and don't maintain their body composition. So anyways, again, kind of shitty about the whole like not talking about your fucking gear. On the other side of the equation, amazing. This guy is making progress, looks absolutely sick, and is continuing to progress and is like showing, like literally making other actors look terrible. Other superheroes look pitiful with compared to this guy's effort. He has a sustainable diet model. He's making progress continuously while staying shredded at the same time literally setting himself up to just fucking catapult into these roles and he's fucking ready to go so it should be interesting to see where this goes the guy is in his goddamn mid 40s and is you know like living the dream dude so we shall see how this uh, progresses from here you know it's kind of crazy to see such a drastic change and continuous progress in the 40s but i mean you know i guess we shall see how sustainable it really is so far so good dude so anyways let me know what you guys think any comments down below who do you think has uh if you can think of a guy who has a better year-round physique than Kumail, drop him in the comments. I'm sure there is, you know, at least a handful. But as far as, like, top-tier stars, I can't think of anybody who doesn't fluctuate very significantly on a year-to-year -year basis, like peaking for the role and then falling apart. You know, Hemsworth does definitely stay in good, presentable shape. He has great genetics, though, and he does not really need to uh, do a whole lot to maintain a presentable, very nice physique. But there's definitely a giant disparity between his peak role as Thor... And then him walking around. Whereas for Kumail, this is like literally him as a superhero right now. So, I don't know. I can't think of anybody else off the top of my head who is this fucking mate, like on point with their stuff sustainably. So anyways, let me know if you can think of anyone. Maybe they uh, justify a video in themselves. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe. Check out my blog, moreplacemoredates.com. Follow me on Instagram, at moreplacemoredates. Facebook, Snapchat, Bitchu, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below. My, my TRT clinic, it's all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home. Um, I recommended lab tests and diagnostics through my clinic to stay on top of your health and your biomarkers. Gorilla Mind, nootropic formulas, Gorilla Mode, pre-workout formulas that design myself from scratch. Um, I recommend a diet model for newbies who are just getting into lifting and or people who want to kind of dial in their um, um, diet models and don't really get how important micronutrient density is as well as gut health and sleep hygiene. Recommend you check out the uh, diet model in the video description below if you want the most idiot proof guide to gaining muscle in the healthiest way um possible in terms of actual high quality performance as well not just you know hitting fucking macros and shit like actually hitting your micros as well and ensuring health processes are all backfilled and everything is functioning top um full tilt as opposed to you know most goddamn you know influencer diet models that are like hit your calories your protein your blah 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 and i don't even know how to hit you know vitamin and mineral needs like that's the kind of stuff you see with most influencers nowadays and um if you want an actual diet model that is um basically clear cut explains exactly what to do exactly what to buy at the grocery store check it out it's in the description below thank you guys for watching talk to you soon